My background in fashion design is from Europe. I trained at a Danish design school in uh, Jutland in the middle of Denmark. They demand a fairly high level of fine arts, so I took several fine arts uh, private schools. Part of the fashion uh, education that we take, take in Denmark actually led me to Italy, where I took some of the training and studied the industry there and uh, the collection building and just got a really good feel for high quality. We were trained by designers there and uh, in fashion illustration, fashion building and all of that. And plus we were, t we were being taught Italian. So it was, it was just a combination of great culture, um, being in the right environment for the right training. I knew I was going to have my own company one day. So for me, it was very important to know that I was very good at what I did. So um, I started working for a tailor in Ottawa and I worked for her for two years. I learned, I did all the fittings, I did all the pattern making, so that's some of the things you do not get from design schools. Uh, you can only gain that from experience, that's fitting and making a proper fit, which is also one of the things that are very, very important to my collections. I've been in Canada for five years now. I moved to Ottawa and I lived in Calgary for a little bit and now I've been in Vancouver for three years. The first time I ever flew into Vancouver, I felt very much at home. I'll never forget the feeling just sitting in the plane and looking at the window and just going, yeah, this is pretty neat. I remember so vividly the stewardess saying, for who of you who's visiting, welcome to Vancouver. For those of you who live here, good for you. And I'll never forget that. It was so cool and I figured that's a pretty neat place. I would like to live there. Couture is high sewing, it's, uh, it's hands-on, it's quality, and it's, uh, it's one of a kind. And that's what I can offer to my clients who come up here. They can have something unique made for themselves that reflects their personality and I can make it for them at a very high quality. When I start designing, I start my design process a little differently than many other designers do. I spend a lot of time with my fabrics um, all by myself. It's very important for me to shut everything else out. And then I just start draping. I take the materials and bring them close to my skin and um, see if this is a material that I like around the face. Is it, do you like it in a large volume or is it something that needs to be more downplayed? So it's really the fabrics together of course with a feeling of, of how, what will work well with this material. How would a woman look really great with this material? How would that present her body uh, and, and give her options to how to wear it? My designs are very tailored. They, one way or the other, they embrace our body. And I really try to show an hourglass figure for any woman. My signature piece is the bustier or the corset. Um, for me, it's been a signature from the very beginning. I actually started a clothing line while I was still in design school. I started selling to a couple of stores in Denmark. Um, it was more as a, as a, I guess, student project, but it's actually what's led to the business that I have today. And not a lot, many people know that actually. Um, but that was my signature piece. It was the, the bustier and the metal boning inside, the high quality. And I think why that caught my eye then was that for me, it was probably the most, um, it was the most difficult piece that I could imagine. How can I create that? The key thing that I think you can do with them is creating a dress look. So mix, mixing and matching the bustiers with different skirts so you can create a gala look, you can create a dinner look depending on the bottom that you put on. Same thing, are you wearing the bustier on its own? Are you wearing with a jacket, with a shawl? You can create a full on wedding dress with the, the look of my design. I started my label in 2008. I am so excited for the response so far. I did a show with the Vancouver Fashion Week, which um, I'm definitely not complaining about the response. I got a standing ovation and was the first to get that in the 10 year history of Vancouver Fashion Week. So I'm very proud of that. And um, it went above my expectations for sure. Since I did Vancouver Fashion Week, I was approached by the, one of the producers of New York Fashion Week. And he took a look at my website and my work and was uh, excited about what he saw. Invited me to New York 
to do a one-man show, which I am, of course, very excited about. Everything is made in Canada and everything is made in Vancouver. I'm, I'm a big supporter of supporting local businesses and uh, I find that my clients as well are, are asking the questions, where is this being made? And uh, they really do appreciate the fact that it's, that it's made in Canada.